This is a great time in history for music because the need for all types of music is greater than it's ever been before. Uh, way back in the 50s and 60s, there were two or three television channels. Now there are hundreds. They all need music. On those two or three television channels, there were a handful of advertisers. Now there are hundreds of advertisers. So the need for music, whether it's background music, uh, elevator music, video game music, uh, is, is at a premium. There, there's more need for content now than there ever has been before. So the more diverse you can be in your compositions or in your ability to perform, whether it's as a, uh, a producer, a session player, a jingle singer, or whatever it is, there's more need now for what you do, if what you do is quality, than there ever has been before. The, the other side of the coin is music is now free. I can go out, uh, much to uh, Lars Ulrich's uh, dismay, I can go out and download the new Metallica album or the new Skrillex uh, CD for free anytime I want. So that puts a premium on live performance and it puts a premium on studio performance with regard to these other genres of music. As I said, elevator music, um, advertising and so on. Because if you can deliver there, that's where you're going to get paid. That's where you're going to make money. So there's a greater demand for composition, whether it's in film, TV, advertising, so on and so forth. And there's a greater demand for the quality of a live performance because that's where music is going, in my opinion. I think if you can do it live, then you're really going to do well. Because as I said, recorded music is virtually free these days. Uh, you can get anything you want on the internet, but um, you can't clone a live performance. And if you weren't there, you didn't see it.